Well, good morning guys. Manny just got through eating and now he's cleaning himself. I wish it would focus more on him but you can kind of see him there cleaning his cleaning his uh, legs, his arms, his hands, his praying mantis apparatuses. Hi, I'm Emerald Gypsy Heart and you're watching Beyond 1031 where it's not just about Halloween, it's about family. So Manny just got through eating and the reason why I know this is because right down directly below him is a grasshopper leg and over here is a face and another grasshopper leg and we have a we have a fatality today we have a, 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 a small little uh, problem here one of the grasshoppers has died and as far as I can see this is the last I should put this on like a lazy Susan or something <laughs> uh, he's like Stop spinning me around. I'm dizzy. I think this will be the best time when um, in between like grasshopper cycles, I guess, uh, to clean the cage and get all of Manny's poop and pee off the side of the glass. He's really not very clean. I thought praying mantises would be clean and you know, they just don't care. Got like stuff here. It's like mantis mung. Yeah, we were uh, instructing Phoenix to uh, not touch the top of the cage because when uh, when he climbs on the top, his little feet stick out. And if you were to take and like brush across the top, you breaking his toes. <laughs> uh, we are gonna make our day. We're gonna, it, it's the day is out there. It's in here too, but the day is out there. We're gonna make it happen. See you guys on the other side of the intro. If I haven't already cut it, if I have, then this is just redundant and awkward. Middle of the afternoon, we are just about ready to pick up Phoenix, but before we pick up Phoenix, I'm picking up pictures. Not only am I picking up pictures for Patreon, we're also going to take a quick look at Walgreens Halloween stuff. And I'm also picking pictures up for a special little project. Just something for the house. So something kind of kind of neat, uh, sprucing stuff up and putting some memories away and uh, showcasing new ones. <laughs> Did you guys see that stuff? Nightmare Before Christmas stuff? The plush blanket. Jack and Sally, the music box. Oogie Boogie lit up. Oh my gosh. I don't need any more tchotchkes. There's, that just takes up space and it's just material items. Hold on, wait, wait for it, there we go. It's just material items, we don't really need it, but oh, it's so neat. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. Okay, so next clip, Phoenix. We are learning finances. So this, this is the savings piggy bank. Oh, oh, wait a second. What? I know how we take it out. Yeah, you're not going to be able to take that out until you're 18. 18? <laughs> yes, 18. 18? I didn't stutter. Yes, 18. So you've got how many years left? 12. You have 12 years left until you can open this. No. Yeah. You worked really hard and you fell a little short of the money that you needed for this. And I think the price changed online, I think. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna teach you a little something about credit. What does that mean? That means that you don't have enough here, but I'll still get it for you. You'll get money for me? No, I'll get the nether portal for you. If I don't have all this money, will you, you will owe me. What does that mean? That means this is so this is so awesome. So that means that the allowance that you earn will actually be going to pay the rest of what the Nether portal costs. 
So you're still going to do your chores, but that money goes to pay me back. So I have to for, give it all to you? Mm-hmm. Until you're done paying it off, which is only a couple dollars. Actually, Dad, hmm. do you remember when you said if that rock stays there, you owe me a dollar? Mm-hmm. Well, I guess I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. Thank you, though. Wow, I'm surprised you remembered that. So take we, it. <laughs> we were at the hill one time, and he wanted to take a rock home, and I'm like, no, you're not taking a rock home. And so he put it down by the fence, and he said, somebody's going to take it. And I said, I'll bet you a dollar that it will still be there when we come back. And it was. I'm surprised he remembered that. So he just tried to give me a dollar, but I'm not going to take it from him. But I appreciate you doing that. I'll pay for it. Today? Um, by the end of the day, yeah. Not right now, but by the end of the day. Because um, I, I want to find the best deal on it, and we don't have a whole lot of time. And besides, Amazon says that it delivery between one to two months. That's a long time to get the Nether portal. So I'm wait, gonna, is that thirty days? That's thirty to sixty days. One to two months. Sixty days? I know. That's what I'm saying. That's, that would take forever. Yeah, pretty much. Wow. Lesson in money, possibly a lesson in credit. We'll figure it out. Bye, 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 bye. It, it's always, it always goes too quick. So what did we do? We played hide and seek, you played with your Legos, and we did money stuff, right? Well, to recap, I think that Manny has eaten all the um, crickets. In fact, I, I think we've already been through this this morning that he had. He has not gone back for seconds on the remnants of the crickets. It's nine o'clock, I just got done working on cars. Uh, Jeff came over for a little while. Yeah, to take a look at the windows to see what we're going to need to do with these because these have to be done before any of this gets started. Windows first and then the rest of the kitchen. We'd like to get the windows done before it gets cold outside so that we don't have like this open <laughs> open portal to suck out all the heat. And then um, what else? What else is going on? I'm in the middle of fixing dinner. I have dishes to do. I have paperwork to do. Today's been a very busy day. Not not lucrative, but just very busy. Lots of stuff to do today, so. Whew, getting her done. Where's Buffy at? You guys have to see Buffy too. Hi, sit, sit. Good girl. Give me five, give me five. Stop smelling my food, give five. Good girl. Other paw, other paw. We're working on this. She hasn't gotten it yet. She's like, what, what? Do you wanna come inside? Hey, 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 get back out here. Shake. Good girl. Hey, 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 hold on, hold on. Get back over here. Get back over there. Shake. Good girl. Now go in. Good girl. Try to keep all the hair on the outside. All right, guys. We're going to try something a little different tonight. I know the lighting is bad. That's one of the reasons why I hate the lighting in the kitchen, because when you're doing dishes, if you don't have a dishwasher, which I don't, you're looking at them, actually, um, then the light's behind you, and it's hard to see what you're doing. So last night, I ran out of time before midnight to do COC, so I figured that I would do it now while uh, some of the, the, the files are in there and the program has to build the audio tracks for them, which takes just a little bit of time. So they're in there doing that. I decided I would come out here and kill two birds with one stone, three birds with one stone. I'm going to do the dishes and I'm gonna do COC from last night and the night before. Okay, so this was for the vlog the day before yesterday, the one to where Angie and I got paperwork for immigration saying that they needed more information to basically make sure that we satisfy the stipulation of having physically seen each other within the last two years um, prior to the date of filing. So as you can imagine, and most of you put down in the comments, shown the vlogs. Well, you know something? The United States government is a little behind the technology times. Um, they need physical photographs, which it's kind of weird to me because it's a whole lot easier to fake a photograph than it is to fake a video. So you would think that they would want the most... I, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. You guys will probably figure it out. But they, they, it, would, it makes sense to me that they would want something that would be concrete. But anyway, um, our attorney took um, photocopies of the pictures and uh, did not send them the actual photos that I had with the time and the date, or not the time, but the date and everything on the back of them. So I guess that was a problem. So that's that was my frustration and all this could have been alleviated by probably doing that. So 
Um, they, I gave them, in my uh, declaration, I gave them my YouTube channel, I gave them the playlist for Angie and I, and apparently they don't care. They're not going to look at that. However, this time around, we are going to send them, we're going to burn a couple of uh, both DVDs so that they can put it into a DVD player, because I'm pretty sure that they should have those around somewhere. And I'm also going to give them um, just the computer file, like the MP4, so that if they have a computer, they can just look at it that way. Um, but I'm going to give them the videos for the pictures that we're going to be sending them. Um, so that right there should be adequate. If any of you guys wanted to say something, and basically you would have to give them uh, your name, your address, your phone number, um, all of that pertinent information, you would have to get it a signed notarized copy. But if anybody wanted to do that and send it to the PO box saying yes, I so-and-so have personally witnessed uh, the videos that Troy and Angie have seen each other multiple times over the last two years and you give dates um, You know That would be appreciated, but uh, it would have to happen very very quickly So and I, I would never and you guys would have to send them to us and we would have to send them to uh, The government in the packet that we're going to be sending them. So I'm not sure if you guys also feel comfortable like, you know giving us that that type of information. So anyway, that right there basically is uh, COC from last night. Now let me go through and answer any individual questions. Night before last night, I meant. Kira Hollow, you said that you could use the hotel receipt from the West Coast last year, and Troy, I I, I could, and I we will, and we did. Um, but they want, I don't know what they want, they, they want actual uh, photographs. Denise Heaton, uh, I'll keep my fingers crossed that you finally give the government everything they need, and the next envelope says approved. Whew, we're keeping our fingers crossed too. Keeper okay, Fuzzy Ears, you say that you went through the same thing. More proof, please. And the very evident proof that we were together were federal documents they didn't even look at. Yeah, so when we go through the border, they do not stamp our, our passport. We're not flying. Uh, we're just going through the, the drive-through border. One would think that they could take a look at those records. They don't. <laughs> I don't know why. Ray Smith, you say take photos from the vlogs with dates shown with Angie to show photo proof. I am going to go and I'm going to look back at uh, ones that I used the still frame for with the YouTube upload date. Maybe that would help. Oh, Mr. Brot, you say remember when Manny was finishing his cricket dinner at the end of yesterday's vlog about the foot. Okay, I got it now. I got that. Oh, no. Brian, did I accidentally leave you guys out of the, the Patreon video? Or the list? Oh, dude, I feel bad about that. Why? I, I thought I had everybody down. Here, I'll put it right here. There you go. There you go. Thank you very much, Brian. Trip 27, I find it very amusing that for the past few videos, I've gotten ads for Erebus Haunted House way over in Michigan. That's funny. And the final comment of the night, Haunt Guy 311 Man, your phoenix is getting big. My phoenix is, too. They don't stay small very long. Hope all works out, man. Dang, dang old gun. Dang old government uh, said in a Dale from King of the Hill voice. Now I'm telling you what, man. Don't dang no man is trying to get an admission you know, getting through the border, man. Don't dang government, man. I'm talking a lot. I'm not doing a lot of dishwashing. All right, this is yesterday's vlog. K Bear Fuzzy Ears bought our first house. Yay, dude! That is so cool. That's a huge, huge achievement. Oh, I remember when I bought my first house. Oh wait. I'm still here. Wolf Spain Hollow, um, Pat, you say, uh, I want to thank you for that info since I just made my first Canada visit, the boyfriend trip this past summer. Yes, uh, my recommendations for you is to take, have a picture taken of the both of you together with a national landmark behind you with the time and date on something that can't be changed that's out of your power. I know that's a lot, but that's pretty definitive in my mind. And uh, that right there should should satisfy the two-year stipulation, you know, in case anybody Im immigrates, you know, yeah, just saying. Murray Mitchell, a great store just opened up here in one of our local malls. Spirit Halloween, first time I've seen a Halloween store. Lots of neat stuff. Yeah, I think the Spirit Halloween had more of appeal to me back before, um, you know, I was, had haunted and done, built haunted houses. 
Um, you know, it, it was like really, really neat. Um, but my opinion, and my opinion only, is that there's a huge coincidence that a lot of the things that Spirit sells are also things uh, that grossly, grossly resemble um, items that uh, home haunters have made and there is never any kind of um, out of, uh, not retribution it's not the word uh, royalties there's no kind of anything not even a thank you washing the dishes is taking an exorbitant amount of time <laughs> oh well that was the last comment of the night anyway huh okay well maybe this wasn't so bad anyway guys um, oh, since I've done COC, I just have to go in there and edit. It feels weird not being in there doing this. So, all right. Happy haunting. See you guys tomorrow. I guess that's it.